Hello everyone and welcome to Programming and Access 2013, the advanced course. My name is Steve Bishop and in this video I need to make a small correction to the last couple of videos where we were uh, where we were assigning different values to some of the properties of our email as well as the file system object. Uh, if some of you may have encountered this, and I, I'm, I'm kind of surprised I, I completely blew this, um, the dot value does generally return back a text string. However, uh, I kind of goofed in that it does still occasionally return a null if you, if you leave it blank. So uh, what we actually have to do is wrap those things in a null to zero function. Let me just illustrate here. I'm going to leave everything blank here, and I don't have any sort of validation on this to check the two subject line and body. So when I click send, since I don't have any validation, you're going to get this. This object does not support this method. And if you go to it, you'll see that uh, the two line for your email is getting a null value from this dot value. So uh, I apologize, this is not what I uh, had intended. So in order to fix this, all we have to do is just wrap this value into an NZ function, which stands for null to zero. And there is there are two parameters to the null to zero function. The first is the original value, and that, that it's gonna check to see if it's null. And if it is null, what is it supposed to return if it's null? Now, if you just left this blank and just did the null to zero like this, the NZ function would actually return back the value of zero. But we actually want to return a blank string, so we can just use the double quotes like this, and that will return a blank string if, in fact, the value is null. So we're just going to do that here to all of these. And the next line here. Okay. And then last but not least, we want to use, we want to do the same thing. This file exists, so we'll do nz and return a blank string there. Okay, so now when we go through, since it's blank, this is all going to pass. But since there is nothing in the to line, there's nothing in the subject line or body. Now we're going to get some issues down here because everything is blank on that email. And when it tries to go and send it, you're going to see we need to know who to send this to. Please make sure you enter at least one name. So you can do some error handling here. And I'm not going to get into the error handling aspect of that uh, because uh, error handling is something that you guys should be trying to do on your code. Um, and if, if not, again, I suggest you go back and review the basic series if you don't remember how to do the error handling. Uh, yeah, I definitely strongly suggest you go back to the basic series where I discuss error handling and you can set up your own error handler for managing that particular error. Okay, so there you go. I just wanted to go back and show you guys that I screwed up. I completely goofed. I forgot that this dot value does not uh, produce a, a string value anymore. I could have sworn it does, but apparently I'm completely wrong. Uh, and every time I've done this, I don't know why it, it didn't click for me that uh, the n null to zero function does need to wrap these up. So there you go. If you guys have any questions, uh, please feel free to drop me a line in the comment section of this video. And uh, as always, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Thank you so much.